Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. So today we're going to do a vase. I've had, we've done videos of the vase before, but it was more the inside. I'm going to show you the outside version. Um, and you actually end up having um, a lot more texture. And if you, if there's an area that you actually like, you get to keep that effect. Um, whereas when you do the inside of the vase, um, it's still just as beautiful, but the colours become really muted. Okay, so I've cleaned the outside of my vase. I'm only going to use two colours. This is my new um, Parrot Fish Green and the Sterling Wax White. So this is literally how easy it is. So I'm blobbing on. And I can tilt it a bit and let it move around on its own and just let it run. And then I don't have to blow as much. And like I said, I'm just using the two colours, but we'll end up with lots of different shades. Okay. See? So we just keep going around doing that. And I've explained before, but how you use your straw and how you exert the pressure actually makes a difference. So if I do a light blow, a light blow and move my straw from side to side quickly, it gives a muted effect. I'll show you again. So there you go. So it's just almost wavy. Now I'll do some sharp blows. I'll just put on a little bit more so you can see what happens. And it didn't work quite as well. Normally, though, you get lots of splatters. Um, I think because I'm working outside and it is drying quite quickly, so we're not getting as much movement when I do that. But usually I'll do a quick, sharp blow and you get, like, these splatter marks. But now I'm just doing whatever I want to do. So see this area here? If I think that's got too much of the parrotfish green, I'm just going to blob on some white and then blend it. So there's no wrong, no right, no rules. It's just about playing and having fun and making a mess. That's easy to clean up though. So if you want to, you can actually keep the movement going the one way. This time I'm trying to keep it all going around rather than vertical, up and down. Um, but you don't even have to think about that if you don't want to. Now, if you're doing a lot of blowing, it pays just to dab your straw on the bench or the surface that you're working on because, um, because of the humidity of your air um, that you're blowing out, it does actually um, develop, build up some moisture. So just remember that because sometimes you get like this big blob of moisture. So what I'm going to do, just to speed things up a bit, I'll just show you. I'm going to literally use my hands to cover up some of these areas and then I can go and blow over them again, all right? So this is just to make sure that I get my... I'll use some green there. Because I'm trying to be quick for the video. If I had, if I could sit here and blow nice and gently and enjoy my time for half an hour um, I would but it's horrible watching a video for half an hour especially of me just blowing a straw
and this will actually, by moving it around with my hands and then putting a blob on top, um, I'm making it easier for the boom to move around as well. done so I'll just sign in and say you got a nice look so we'll keep going but I'll actually stop the video and I'll put some still photos up but you can just have a look there of the texture and you can see here where I've not blown very much we've got cells coming up so it depends if I didn't want that look I would just blow over it I'll show you and now I've gotten rid of it but some people love that look and that's great but maybe for this, for today, I would rather not have them. So there we go. I'm going for more of that ocean type look. So there's some more big cells. So once I've finished here, I'm literally just going to pop it up and let it run down. So I might put a, a jar lid underneath so that if there is any runoff, it will come down. But there won't be a great deal, to be honest, um, because I'm moving it around with the straw and I'm just applying thin layers, like doing the blobs and then thinning it out. This does dry a lot quicker and that's why it retains all the texture and movement in it. So this is all blobby and it looks high and raised, which it is, but once it dries, that visual aspect still stays, or we still retain that visual aspect, but it's flat and smooth. So if somebody, once this is sealed, when you feel it, it just feels like the glass. You can't feel any of this. Okay, so we'll stop now. So see you guys, and I'll pop some, video, um, some still photos up later, probably tomorrow. Bye.